Did you all know that one in every 46 males and one in every 80 females can get kidney disease at some time in their lives? Well, wouldn't it be better if somehow an individual could identify the signs and symptoms of chronic kidney disease in the early stages? Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Puru Dawan, and today, I will discuss with you all certain health conditions that can eventually lead to chronic kidney disease. With this, we will also dive a little into how these conditions lead to kidney disease and how an individual may prevent it. Chronic kidney disease, as we all know, is a progressive disease that mainly affects the kidneys in an individual. Our kidneys are made up of nephrons, which are small filtering units in our kidneys responsible for blood filtration. With this, they also help maintain the balance of water and various minerals in the human body. But unfortunately, these fist size organs gradually decrease their functioning owing to damage caused to the nephrons due to chronic kidney disease. We all know that diabetes and hypertension are the leading causes of CKD. Diabetes, commonly known as high sugar, occurs when your body doesn't produce enough insulin, which control as sugar levels. These high sugar levels end up choking the blood vessels, which carry blood to the kidneys. Without enough blood, the kidneys get damaged gradually. High blood pressure, however, means blood flowing with tremendous pressure inside the vessels. Now the blood vessels carrying thebla to the nephrons are tiny to handle this much pressure and get damaged over time, causing kidney damage. But most of you don't know that other health conditions can also damage the nephrons, ultimately leading to the development of chronic kidney disease in an individual. Unfortunately, most people with ongoing kidney damage are unaware of the situation, as there are normally signs and symptoms of kidney disease. The symptoms usually show after the third stage, when recovery becomes difficult. Therefore, I always advise everyone to get professionally checked at least once a year for this disease to clear any doubts. The most common health condition which causes CKD is acute kidney injury. Acute kidney disease, a key, is a condition related to kidneys wherein their functioning decreases suddenly without any prominent symptoms. The intensity of this decrease can range anywhere from minor function loss to complete loss of kidney functioning. Prevalent in the elderly population, this branch of kidney condition stems from acute kidney disease or disorders, ultimately leading to gradual loss of organ functioning. With acute kidney injury, kidney functioning rarely stabilizes, becoming an issue in the long run. Apart from this, another condition known as glomerulonephritis can lead to chronic kidney disease. In simple terms, it is a kidney disorder that causes inflammation in the tiny filters of the kidney, leading to a decrease in blood flow. With the decreased blood flow, this disease also creates issues in removing excess waste and water, further aggravating the condition. This disorder is usually a byproduct of an infection or an autoimmune disease. It will lead to chronic kidney disease if not treated properly. Egg nephropathy is a chronic kidney disease caused by the accumulation of protein immunoglobulin in the tinnitus filters of a kidney. The glomeruli, or the small filters, are mainly responsible for filtering out an individual's waste material and excess water. Under any circumstances, if thesa filters do not work, there is a possibility of severe consequences in the long run. Being an autoimmune disease, our immune system produces immunoglobulin A. Ig A, a protein. This protein helps fight viruses and other attacks on the immune system and is a normal process. But in an Ig patient, this protein is made even when the body is healthy, ultimately accumulating in the kidney stilters, gradually leading to chronic kidney disease. The chances of contracting chronic kidney disease increase with lupus, also in autoimmune disease. Our immune system is an extensive network of organs, cells, and proteins that protect us from infections and ailments. But when an individual has lupus, the immune system starts attacking the healthy cells and organs of the body by creating antibodies. This directly affects the kidneys, resulting in organ swelling, thereby not letting them filter the waste and blood from the body. Kidney infections are not very common but can occur due to E. coli. These bacteria can travel to the urinary tract, causing infections. Kidney infections usually start as urinary tract infections, which are relatively common. The urinary system consists of the bladder urethra, kidneys, and ureters. Urinary tract infections are common in women and occur mainly via bacteria that travel from the skin and enter the urinary tract. 
Left untreated, this bacteria can travel to the kidneys, causing infections. When this infection stays in the body for a long time, it can gradually turn into pyelonephritis, which can cause swelling of the kidneys. Gradually, this swelling and the damage caused to the kidneys can turn into chronic kidney disease in human beings. With this, another prominent cause of chronic kidney disease is polycystic kidney disease. This is a genetic disorder that causes numerous fluid-filled cysts to form in the kidneys leading to their disfiguring gradually. There are mainly two types of PKD, which can slowly turn into chronic kidney disease if left untreated. Besides, many other lifestyle factors can contribute to chronic kidney diseases, such as smoking, kidney stones, high cholesterol, obesity, liver failure, and heavy drinking. All precautions should be taken to ensure that these factors are always controlled so that they don't develop into chronic kidney disease at later stages. It is essential to lead a healthy lifestyle and ensure a proper diet to ensure a long and healthy life. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope I was clear in explaining what other health conditions may lead to chronic kidney disease with time. It is necessary for everyone watching this video to have regular checkups for any symptoms that you think are worrisome. If you still have any queries regarding what we discussed today, please feel free to comment in the section below. I will try to answer all of them. See you next time. Till then, take care.